Today we're making a pin cushion for your finger. We're using a water bottle cap. I poked two holes in it just with some, a tip of some scissors. You'll need a three inch piece a circle of fabric. You'll need some fiber fill stuffing and you'll need a piece of elastic and a piece of ribbon, both just a little under four inches. The first step is to take our circle piece of fabric. We're going to gather the edges. I've quadruple knotted my thread because I need a, a tight knot for this. I'm going to go about a quarter inch from the edge and I'm just going to go back and forth all the way around and then we're going to gather it in just a moment. You can see as I'm going around it kind of cups it and that's what we want it to do. I'm almost here to the end. There's my knot. I'll come up there. I'm going to leave my needle in there for right now. I'm going to gather this a little bit more. I want to put my stuffing in the inside of that. I'm going to take my stuffing and I'm going to make it a tight ball and then I'm going to stuff it in that hole. Now I'm just going to keep pulling that thread until it closes up that hole. So that hole's about closed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some stitches just across back and forth across it to hold that opening closed. You want to keep a circle shape so you will want to angle it all different directions to hold on to that circle shape. You could probably just sew here all the way around it to close it, but I just as soon go back and forth. Okay, it looks pretty much closed. I'm going to tie that off. And then we're going to need our elastic piece next. Okay, what we want to do next is we want to feed our elastic through the holes. I'm working from the top of the bottle cap. I'm going to put one end of the elastic through this hole, and I'm going to put the other end of the elastic through this other hole here. If you cut your elastic at an angle, it makes it easier to go through the holes. So your elastic is now to the inside of the cap. What you want to do is adjust the elastic to make sure it fits your finger. And then you can either sew your elastic to close it up, or I'm just going to knot mine because then I'm going to hot glue it in a moment anyway. So I, it looks like here I can just tie a, a, tie a knot here and then I'll be able to slide this on and off my finger. After you do your knot, you'll want to double check and make sure it still will work on your finger and mine will be fine. You can clip off the extra if you'd like or you can just leave it there. Now what's going to happen is we're going to fit this down in here. Just be sure it fits before we grab our hot glue. It looks like it will. You might have to push the edges to make it a little more round. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hot glue and I'm actually going to glue my elastic and then I'm going to run a glue around the inside of the lid as well. And then you're going to stick this right down in there. Make sure it's, sure it's centered the way you'd like it. Next step, we're going to take our ribbon. We're going to glue that around the outside here. There you go. You're all set with your finger pin cushion.